with some more Kerbal Space Program. He is good old smiling Jebby. And yeah. So, let's go out. Uh, I actually tried to do this before, however, we got a uh, game crash related to the screen resolution not being able to... I don't know. Something about the screen resolution which didn't make any sense. Um, I'm just going to double check the settings. Okay, so it was fine. Alright, so I just turned down my uh, rocket from 10% to 4% because I thought it was a little loud. But, um, and then the game crashed saying the screen resolution was invalid. Because, you know, the two things are totally related. Anyway, um, so, let's, uh, get a quick countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it's a little quieter. Much better. survived this okay. <laughs> Which is, oh god, raining death. Ooh, that's not good. So, uh, apparently that came apart. Um, yeah. I shouldn't have booted the engines up to 100 ever. Uh, just doing that is in itself a deadly, deadly thing with this rocket design, it so seems. Um, the, it's not very stable and very, very finicky. If you fly it right, it works just fine. So let's just boot it 60... Oops, matched hit friggin' sticky keys here. Hang on. Oh god. Why is this not working? Oh god! Please tell me not another crash. Oh, phew. Okay, everything's okay now. Okay, I have no idea what the hell the video or the audio is going to be like, but, um, just in case the audio got totally destroyed, uh, because my computer locked up for a moment. Sticky keys. Anyway, that's all you need to know. Alright, no, engines will not be at 100. Oh, crap, I turned on sticky keys. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. No. Okay, there we go. Sticky keys is now off. Phew. Um, yeah, that's when my throttle was going all over the place. I had to actually turn on sticky keys. <laughs> Alright, so. Um. Let's go. Alright, and. Launch. Kind of slow coming off the pad, but that's good. Um. We don't want to be going uh, too fast because, as you can see, there's already a ton of wobble. Usually, can really be good. And again, everyone gets to live. It's a win-win scenario.
Alright, so more nuclear death and destruction rains down. Okay. Let's head back to the space center. Head to the vehicle assembly building. I'm gonna land PVA. Don't don't pay attention to the rest of the stuff. Uh, that's related to the Nova Punch pack that I tried to make work, but had some issues with. Couldn't make it work. <coughs> I do apologize. Uh, yeah, this thing is does follow my um st ro standard rocketry design in just you know how wobbly it is and how often it's more or less bound to just completely fall apart during flight. Alright. And some more struts added in strategically. Should help reduce the wobble significantly. Okay, that should help a bit too. Alright. So, we're gonna try and get to the MUN, and we're gonna try and, you know, do an EVA or something. I wonder if on Minimus the RCS jetpack thing everyone comes equipped with is, uh, good enough to, like, make you fly. That would be interesting. But, um, I don't think we're gonna get to test that. I mean, I'm pretty sure this rocket's probably capable of making it to Minimus if we can get out of the atmosphere with it. fuel efficiency isn't much of a problem for me. In fact, even on this rocket, it's not much of a problem, but... Like I said, this is just a stage to get me out of the atmosphere. What? I looked away for five... point five seconds. And what happened? Well, okay. <laughs> Ain't that just great? Uh, boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna stick around for it. The point is they survive. Okay, so I looked away for 0.5 seconds and that happened. Ah, uh, boy. I, like I said, I still think there is some bugs in the new parts that they built. Um, and a lot of them are far less stable than they should be. Like, I have noticed these couplers just like to randomly explode. Like, I'm pretty sure this entire fuel tank got vaporized, and the entire lander body just all got vaporized and crushed in the rocket, mysteriously, for no apparent reason. So, uh, yeah. Let's try. 
try this now. So apparently we seem to vaporize when we hit a certain speed. Okay, then. So there's something wrong here with the strength of this. It's apparently not enough to, uh, you know, hold out against that. So I suppose the ultimate solution just happens to be to maintain a lower speed. All right, so everyone, uh, let's try it with Roundo three O. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. With round three, probably order the ending of my staging because God knows how bad it's screwed up. We're just gonna go. to fly it all. Uh, I forgot to run his ass. So I should be hopefully trying to cover all my bases. I'm 
I mean, the schedule's still subject to change and everything. You know, the usual stuff. All right, let's get it down to 33. All right, so we're still climbing, but I want to try and keep the speed as low as possible. Don't need anything rash happening. Don't need a, a rocket mysteriously disintegrating. That's always annoying. Apoapsis is still increasing good. So anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> um... Crap, what was I saying? I oh, yeah, right about the scheduling. So I'm trying to, you know, neaten up the days I upload. Um, I'm also looking for feedback as towards episode format. I think I'm going to be doing a 30, 35, 40 minute episode today. Um, and I'm going to ask you what you guys think. Do you want uh, shorter 20 minute episodes, maybe two or three of them released throughout the day? Or would you prefer a full, like, 60 minute episode? Or 40 to 60 minute episode, rather. Uh, style of uh, format. Uh, I don't know, originally I did the 20 minute episodes because my original thing, like, four months ago was doing the, the uh, Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer Let's Play, the first season of that, and that was an hour long episode. And analytics showed me that a lot, that I lost a large portion of my audience around 20, 25, 30 minutes. Like, a lot of it dipped off there. So. That's kind of what made me decide to make, like, 20-minute episodes. Uh, good audience retention keeps people interested, sort of thing. Um, for those of you who, like, feel free to tell me in the comments which would you prefer. Because, oh, shoot, I've been probably going on, yeah, I've been ranting about that way too long, and now my orbit is screwed. Crap. Gonna need to disable the SAS for this one. And, but I'm still going to need this, because the only control I apparently have is my thrust gimbling. Somebody needed to remind me to put SAS on my rockets. Because God help me. If I could ever remember to do that myself. And now we go up to 100. I don't think we're in any trouble of vaporizing or anything right now. At least I'm doubtful. So, I kind of forgot to do a gravity turn. I totally didn't mean to. But, uh, oh well. Like I said, this thing's fine. It should wear out, hopefully, before I get a full orbit. Or, or as always, I could just vaporize. As we all know, my rockets love to vaporize. I think I need to go back to the drawing board on this one. And you know what? Screw everything I said about a uh, 30 some odd minute episode. We're hanging like at 20 minutes right now, and I think this is probably the perfect time to end this episode. So, as we go spinning through space at some ridiculous speed of sorts. And as we head towards re-entry, <clears throat> I guess this is probably the best time to end the episode. As I'm saying, I'm probably going to be uploading multiple episodes throughout the day, so this is probably going to be the first one going up. I'll look for more coming out today. Actually, you know what? Cool. I can, w I can like, wait my command pod. Uh-oh. Increase, increase altitude. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Where the... Come on. 700, 800, 900 meters. I guess Kerbins are more aerodynamically efficient. I'm impressed that their spacesuits can even survive the entry.
Do I have to play the parachute or the other two doomed to die? I don't know. Oh well. So, uh, yeah. That's basically all I had to say. Um, Edward, I'm going to keep trying this. I need to improve the uh, system a bit, it seems. And, uh, you know, do some work. So, uh, until next time, I'm Calvin, signing off.